Good afternoon, everybody. This is Shane, your nappy chef. Here's an update on the arugula aquaponics garden. Now, if you notice, there's a problem here. So, if you can see the level of water, especially right here, uh, my system is, is flooding. So, what that means is that while we got some good growth initially where the seeds cracked, I'm probably getting some root rot right around there so and I've also been feeding the plants too much which means I need to add a timer so some of my research about um, hydroponics uh, suggests that you really uh, in order for you to see the explosive growth in your plants uh, they need time to absorb the nutrients and if the roots are constantly uh, wet, uh, they're not able to get the amount of air that they need in order to absorb, uh, absorb the nutrients that's in the water. Now, um, you know, this is a great system so far. You can see the water is pretty clear. And what I did to make sure the water is aerated properly, I added some air stones uh, to make sure that the, the water is super oxygenated. So we're getting that. And again, even in this system, again, there's too much, uh, the water is too high, it sits there too long. So, uh, what we're going to do is install this timer uh, and only feed the plants for 15 minutes between, say, four and six times uh, during the day. And at night, we're going to just turn it off completely. Uh, or maybe give it just one feeding in the middle of the night to make sure that the roots uh, stay wet. Now, over here, the Again, the kale is doing fantastic, um, but it's been maybe about a week or two, so we got good, good growth, a good start, but I suspect if we give the uh, plants more time to absorb all this uh, super rich uh, oxygenated, oxygenated water uh, that our tilapia are producing, we're going to start seeing some explosive growth and being able to harvest with, within, say, 28 days, which is my goal, uh, will become a reality. Now, one other problem that I notice is my tomato that I transplanted starting to get little yellow leaves. Another thing I notice is that I have some ants. So what that tells us is that there's a food source here. And the food source happens to be these little tiny uh, spider mites. Let's see if you can see them in there. It's the back of my hand. You barely make them out. You see those little orange things right there? Might not be able to make it out, but those are spider mites. So in order to get rid of those guys, we're just going to spray some uh, soapy water, uh, and that should get take care of all the problems that I'm seeing in my aquaponic system. Alright, thanks a lot. Snappy Chef 35.